Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Proverbs 23, 22. Listen to your father who gave you life and do not despise your mother when she is old. Yeah, RJ needs to heed that warning. Don't despise your mother when she's old. Um, no. He loves me. I know he does. I mean, I had to have a little bit of a talk this weekend, but it's all right. So, okay. On the hooks. I still am working on the bag here. Um, I think I did like a row and a half. Okay, I'm still working on this reversible bag. And I have done like one row and to there. So, didn't get very far on it, but I had some other things come up this weekend. I did like five loads of laundry. I I guess I'm struggling. Uh, I got the dryer fixed, so that's, I guess I need to back up. Okay, so this is the only crochet that I have been working on trying to get it done. I have all the pieces except for that one and the little pocket piece to do. And I think I'm going to just quit playing on the sewing machine and get it done. Because it is been on the hooks way too long so <coughs> um as you can see in the back i've got rj's um clothes to do he had i don't know how many shirts there two four six eight shirts seven needed patches one needs a button uh some of them need just cleaned up really good so I had that, and then there's some jeans sitting over there. Um, I've got everything done. I've got to put the button on and iron two more shirts, and they're ready to go back to him. And then um, jeans. He apparently was out of jeans, and so the kind that he wanted were not very expensive, but they're hard for him to find in at his Atwood. So I picked up some at ours, and I'm going to iron them up for him and get Two pair ready to go. I actually bought four pair, but two I'm going to give to him, like, one for his birthday, one for, you know. Two pair should do him, you know, for the next couple of months. So, because of what he's got already. So, anyway, so I worked on that all day Sunday. I had some other running around to do. But now, I got in, and I didn't even get a chance to show you guys. So, I have a girlfriend, and we always exchange Christmas presents, is what we do, and I was trying to find a good gift. I wanted something homemade. She's got a different house now, and I wanted something to go with her house. She's been painting her house and making it, so um, I found this material, and I really, I don't have anything left other than, so this is the material right here, and it's pretty close to her kitchen color kitchen cabinet it needs to be just a little more blue but it's as close as I'm gonna find without dyeing it myself so the first thing that I did I ordered and how much was this three-fourths of a yard of that material she loves dachshunds she collects everything dachshunds she's got two dachshunds um yeah so she's she loves her dogs um She's got three dogs total, but anyway, so I, she's got this long, narrow bar in her kitchen and I decided for Christmas, I'm going to make her a table runner, just a quilted top type. And I put all these dogs facing that way and all those dogs facing that way. And I literally made... <laughs> Her bar is 100 inches long. This thing is only like 80 some. So it'll give her a little bit of room on the edge. And I may have gotten it just a little too wide. But we'll see. That's all I can say. Put the batting on. And I have. Now the white was from my stash. I was using up stash. So the white was from my stash. And the backing is actually going to be. A striped material but it's cotton and it is using from my stash so um 
yeah. But when I got done, I had enough to make her a set of little coasters as well. So she is getting four coasters and yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm yawning. But anyway, that will be her Christmas present. I just, I've got to get the batting. And then once I get the batting, I can um, back it. And I will probably just use some binding. I don't know what I'm going to bind it with, but I'm thinking white. Just stick to white on everything. You know, I've got the backing. The backing does have stripes on it. I'll show you. But it's very neutral stripes. It's, and they're very subtle. So, I mean, it's not, it's not great. It's, but it is using up from my stash. So that will be easy peasy. But I did, I worked on that thing all day Saturday and the coaster Saturday. And then Sunday, RJ brought me all of this. Uh, he, he had all the bills paid and he put, stopped and put gas in his truck and he had $12 to his name. So mom stopped and got groceries for him. <laughs> and he said, I only have to make it till like Wednesday when he works again so that he can get paid. So yeah, but I didn't get my pajamas started. I didn't get any of that. I did five loads of laundry. I have decided that I'm not going to do that anymore. I waited all week and didn't do laundry because the dryer, usually that comes in. Uh, the dryer had, it was getting hot, but it really wasn't drying anything. And so we took the back of the dryer off and got all the dust out of there and cleaned out the whole pipe thing. And it is working much better now. So um, I think it had lint and everything clogged up in it. We didn't get a ton out of it, but we got quite a bit. So, you know, um, I'm hoping, I think it might be because that room is not, air conditioned or anything it's hot back there anyway so I really want a clothesline I'm thinking I told Romain I said we need to put a clothesline out of here because everything would dry in a flash 100 degrees outside you know but anyway we'll see but literally I worked it all week um then I worked on this stuff all weekend and other than that, we didn't do a whole lot of anything. We did get, sorry, we got two and a half inches of rain. So we got the yard mowed. Not a whole lot of much of anything done. And I still have those shirts to finish this morning. And I'm going to run iron over those jeans. I'm worried about taking the tags off them. I really would rather let RJ take the tags off, but those need to be ironed. and uh, So I don't know. <laughs> I'm worried that if you had to take them back and they didn't have the tags on them and I'd already ironed them, then he couldn't take them back. And so, yeah. Uh, that's what happens when you buy jeans for your son. You're worried it's not the right ones. So anyway, all right, I'm going to get off here. Over the next week, I'm going to get that bag done, the um, reversible bag. I want to get it done. And then Tori's next challenge. Um, oh, I have her picture of her challenge. What did I do with? She did her first challenge. And she had sewed these two pieces of material together. So she decided that she would just use that for the bag. And it came out really cute. Um, I was kind of proud of her. I'm looking for it. She texted it to me, but she said that her lines weren't as straight as mine, but there it is. Okay. So there is the little, that's the one that I made. And that's when she made it. Hers was little. But she did it. Yay! <laughs> so she's got her first bag done. And then uh, she will be attempting the second bag. Which I posted last week. So that's her next challenge. And, that's, and she says she feels 
accomplished because she actually made something. And I said, yeah. So, anyway, she said that her uh, seams weren't straight, straight, but it's learn about it's about learning to control that the speed number one, and then along those gauges. Um, we'll see how she does. All right. Anyway, I think that's it. That's all. Um, I just got to get, I'm going to do her, uh, video for her pajamas, her shorts. Uh, those are the easiest to do is shorts. Um, skirts are actually easier, but she's not going to wear a skirt. So <laughs> the shorts will be fine. I'm going to get up here and get this stuff done. I have to go to work today. Got dishes done. Um, first load of clothes is in the washer. I have to get them in the dryer or they'll sour. So yeah. And that way they don't sour. So, all right. I think that's about it guys. I know it's not much of an update, but when RJ calls, of course, mom goes to sewing on patches and he is sponsored by Lyle ropes. So he has to have those on his shirts every time he ropes. Well, every time he ropes for money competitively. So, um, but yeah, this, I have one, the far one needs a button. The next two just need to be ironed and the rest of them are finished. So I'm going to get off here and do that and figure out what I'm going to do with the fattest jeans. So you guys have a great week and hopefully this week I will get something posted for Tori's challenge. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.